Hi guys, Mrs. A here. Uh, today we're looking at finding the slope of lines. And we know that the slope of a line means the incline or the steepness of that line, but we're not going to measure that in degrees. We're going to use slope, which compares the rise of the line to the run of the line. So I have two examples. The first one we're given a graph and in the second one we're just given two points. So there are multiple formulas we can use to calculate the slope of a line and it just depends on the information that we're given which choice we make. So for the first one we're given this graph so I'm going to choose to use the formula slope m, that represents slope, equals rise over run to calculate the slope of this uh, blue line. So to do that, I'm going to go to the graph and I'm going to choose two points that are on the line. When you choose points, you'll, you want to always choose points that are um, on the crossing grid of the graph because then you get to choose nice whole numbers instead of estimating the value in between the whole numbers. So I'm going to choose that one and then I'm going to choose this one right here. Um, really any two points that you choose to use on the line should give you the same slope value. So it won't matter which uh, two points as long as you do it correctly. So between those two points I'm going to draw a right angle triangle and we call this the right triangle that we use for calculating slope. So now you see that we can see clearly the rise, that's the vertical distance there of the line, and then the run of the line, which is the horizontal distance. So this rise value here, if I look at my scale, it's going from three to one, and it's going down. So that's negative two for the rise. And then the run, that's this value right here, is going from negative two to four. So that's six for the run, because it's going to the right, positive six. Okay, so again, the line is going down and then to the right. So that gives us that negative rise and a positive run. So fill in those values. The rise then is negative two, and the run was six. So there's our slope, but that's not a reduced fraction. We always want our answers to either be a simplified uh, in simplest form, or we can do a decimal, but I do prefer the reduced fraction. So if we reduce this fraction, we get negative one-third. And if you prefer to use decimals, then this would be negative 0 0.33 and repeat it. So that's finding the slope uh, if we're given the graph for the line using the formula slope equals rise over run. Now let's look at the other problem we have um, where we have to find the slope of the line passing through these two points. We don't have a graph given and we want to avoid uh, having to graph these two points. We want to do this algebraically. So instead of using um, the rise over run formula, I'm going to use the formula slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And this formula just allows you to algebraically determine the difference in the y value, so that's the rise, and the difference in the x values, which gives you the run. So it's the same thing as the previous formula, but we're just, um, we just have a template here to uh, make sure that we use our points in the proper order. So when we look at the two points we have, let's call this point 1 and this point 2. We know that this is an x value and this is a y value, and this is an x value and this is a y value. Follow the alphabet, x then y. And since this is point 1, I'm going to call this x1 and y1. And since this was point 2, I'm going to call this x2 and y2. Two. And now we've given every value, every coordinate in the two points a label to fit into the formula that I outlined here. So now let's fill it in very carefully. We want to follow the correct order. So y2 was the 3 minus y1, which is the negative 7. Now notice how it's a minus and then a negative 7, so you want to preserve those two negatives there. Over x2 is negative 1 minus x1, 
which is negative 5. So if we look at the um, negative values here, 3 minus negative 7 is the same thing as 3 plus 7. We think about our integers. Over negative 1 minus negative 5 is the same thing as negative 1 plus 5, like this. So I've run out of space, so I'm just going to go up here and continue. 3 plus 7 is 10 over negative 1 plus 5 is 4. Both values are positive, so we're going to have a positive slope here. That means this line would be going up and to the right. I want to reduce this fraction, of course. The slope would then be 5 over 2, or if you prefer decimal values, that would be 2.5. We always want to do the reduced fraction um, because it is more useful than that decimal. So that's how we use uh, this formula for finding the slope of a line algebraically instead of finding the slope uh, given a graph. Thanks for watching. Mrs. A loves math.